so quiet when everybody's muted. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is great. I'm so excited. Just so you know, I am so excited for this class. So excited that even the Well Village is doing another supplements class this this month. So obviously, we are not short of learning education when it comes to supplements. So, and I'm super excited that Penny offered um, to do this with such like expertise. So she's going to be your go-to. Actually, maybe even Penny can. Um, put in or I can put in her IG handle. So if you're not following Penny, which I've tagged her so many times, so I would imagine you'd have to be following her <laughs> by now. But if not, I'll just go ahead and put her IG handle in the comments so you guys can follow her if you guys have questions and all that. I'm sure her Instagram is going to be filled with all the supplement information along with all of her fun um, posts that she she does, of course. So I don't know if I'm fun. I'm a little nuts, but if you're nuts, then come on over. Oh, I'm there. <laughs> if we're crazy, then let's go, right? All right. So it looks like we've got pretty much everybody on that's going to be on, and we don't want to keep it too long. Um, so I will introduce myself. Hi, I'm Penny. <laughs> I have um, almost 20 years of experience in um, supplements, Ayurvedic medicine and holistic medicine. Um, my story is very long, so I will spare you from that. I'm sure if uh, we get to know each other and become friends, then you will get to know that pretty soon. Um, but I want to just put a little disclaimer out there. Um, this class is just meant to educate. So we're gonna talk about benefits. We're gonna talk about why we need to think about supplements. We're going to talk about where we can get the best supplements. And we're, of course, we're going to talk about why Young Living is amazing. Uh, and they truly are. Or I wouldn't have like offered to do this class so fast because um, these supplements have truly changed my life. And my uh, hope is that we're able to educate as many people as possible and um, help them build the bundles that they need for their overall wellness journey. So if you have questions throughout the class, if you don't mind, please hold them till the end because we're going to have a QA. and a uh, And the reason I say that is also because I, I tend to be very, very detailed because I've done this so long and I've helped um, so many people that if you have a question, it'll probably be um, answered within the information that um, is provided. And if not, um, then I, I can answer that at the end. Um, so I also just want to put a disclaimer out there that in no way is anything that I say it's any type of diagnosis. We do not do that. <laughs> um, and one of the reasons I love Young Living so much is because they are so responsible um, with uh, how they put information out and they educate us so that we can help others. Um, and it is a huge thing in this industry. One of the reasons why the FDA hates us, <laughs> one of the reasons why we struggle to um, be able to help as many people is because unfortunately there are so many health and wellness businesses that want to do what the customer wants, right? The customer wants to come in broken in shambles and say, what do I need, right? And they're like, cool, $200 sale coming right up. Boom, 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 right? But that's not what we're here for. We're here to help people change their life and live a, um, a, a better type of life with um, education and choices. So I just wanted to give that to you as well. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. So um, first things first, this is ABCs and one, two, threes. So we're gonna talk a lot of basics. I had to rein it in because there's so much information. I get super excited, so please forgive me um, <laughs> when I talk about supplements and stuff. Um, but we just wanna talk about a few things, a little basics for us. So why do we need supplements? Well, it's because we don't have enough of what we need in our food. Um, it is also because we do not live the life that it was intended for us. So our bodies are freaking out, our hormones are freaking out, we are more stressed than we should be. Um, and when we feel those things, our body pulls from its reserves, every mineral, every vitamin that we have in order to function properly. 
Now, all of the issues that we have come when we don't have enough for the body to pull from, so then we need to supplement, right? And there's a lot of ways you can do this. You see people will 100% uh, want to focus on the celery diet. So they're just going to juice celery until kingdom come, and that's what they're going to do to for their health and benefits, and that may work for them because that might need, be what they need. That might be the supplement that they are missing. So what you wanna think about throughout this journey is how you feel, maybe what you're lacking in your diet, uh, in your basic wellness uh, journey, as far as your sleep, uh, your diet. Uh, if you are a spiritual person, you, you'll wanna think about your spiritual side. Uh, those things that balance a little bit, right? Because the more balanced you are that way, the better your body will be able to absorb the nutrients that you need. That's very, very important because you can take all the supplements and eat the best diet in the world. But if you only function on two hours of sleep and coffee all day, you will not be able to absorb what you need in order to uh, give your body that boost to, to move forward. So we're going to talk a little bit about our letter vitamins. If you didn't know, now you know, it's letter vitamin time. So first of all, we'll talk about, um, let's see, we're going to talk a little bit about vitamin A um, and why that is so important to us. So vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin. It's naturally present in a lot of foods and it's very important for the immune system. Uh, it also helps with heart, lungs, it helps to support uh, regular kidney function, um, what fat soluble mean is it means is that it is absorbed into the fat. It does not go into the bloodstream. That's very important to remember, okay? Because that's why if you've ever had one day where you are 15 pounds lighter than you were the day before, now you understand that sometimes the way our body works is that it takes everything it can't do and it stuffs it into those yummy, healthy fat cells to work with later. So uh, this can be toxins, this can be chemicals, this could be um, even uh, uh, fat soluble vitamins at some point if you have a little bit too much. So vitamin A is super important. Now we don't have that vitamin A supplement, um, but here's why. Vitamin A is extremely hard to cultivate and produce. It comes from foods like carrots, broccoli, cantaloupe, squash, et cetera. Um, what we do have is the multigreens and the multigreen supplement that is food based has an amazing amount of vitamin A for you in that supplement, um, as well as your vitamin E, which we'll get to a little bit later because E is very important. Um, but fun fact, E is also one of the supplements that you can overdose on very quickly and it can cause a lot of issues. And it's also soy based. If you're going to produce it, it's going to be soy based which for those of us who, um, you know, stick our head in the freezer a couple times a day, um, like myself, we know <laughs> we really don't want something is soy based. <laughs> so we want to stick to our most natural form. So um, again, our green foods and our veggies and stuff like that. Um, can you overdose on vitamin A? You can. Vitamin A, you only need a very little bit of vitamin A. So you're going to get it in most of your diet. If you eat meat, if you eat any veggies or greens throughout your day, 18% of that is most likely vitamin A. So if you supplement vitamin A on top of that and you don't need vitamin A, you can become toxic. Now I don't wanna scare you because supplements are good and your body is able to absorb that and take what it needs and then discard the rest. Vitamin A is one of those that you can, it discards very easily because it's a fat soluble vitamin. When you're dealing with water soluble or those that get into the bloodstream, that's a little different. But when we're talking fat soluble, that gets changed over pretty quickly, especially if it's a, it's, if it's a vitamin that we use up throughout the day, like we do our letter vitamins, our, our supplements that way. So um, and then if you do have a little bit of vitamin A toxicity, you're looking at cracked lips, dry skin, rough skin, um, that kind of stuff. So it isn't one that's going to put you in the emergency room, but it will dry you out a little bit. Okay. So it's just something to consider. So if you're somebody who can never get their feet smooth and you go every two weeks religiously to get a pedicure and you've got these cracks deep, deep, deep in your skin, if you look at some of our, our, um, 
supplements uh, or our creams, you're going to see that vitamin A is, is there, but it's not because we've put vitamin A in, it's because it comes from the food sources in those lotions and things that we use. And so vitamin A is represented there is a wonderful um, vitamin for skin. So something to um, consider there. Um, if you have questions on vitamin A, please keep just kind of write it down and we can talk a little bit later. But we're gonna move in to one of my favorite top, 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 topics ever, I can't even speak, it's so exciting, is Super B. Okay, you guys, Super B is like the most amazing supplement that we have, <laughs> I just, and I'll tell you why. So first of all, when you go through anything irregular, now you don't get enough sleep, your kids are driving you bonkers. Your job is stressful. The weather is not good. Um, any emotional turmoil, even over exercising, your body is depleting vitamin Bs. So most likely you go to the store and uh, you're looking for something for stress. If you guys have been to any vitamin shop or any, anything like that, that you go in and you say, okay, I'm stressed out. What do I do? you will walk over to stress and mood support and they're going to show you a vitamin B complex. And that complex will most likely say stress complex. And that's because that is what our body depletes right away. Our Bs are very easy to get, very easy to store in our body, but it is the first thing that your body uses when under stress. That and minerals uh, such as zinc, which is why our immune systems can get pretty low pretty quick. Um, when we're talking about, um, you know, vitamin B or stress or, or not sleeping or something like that. Give me one second. I'm going to come over here just to make sure I don't miss an important part. Um, our super B contains all eight B vitamins. They are chelated minerals. That's important because chelated is the most bioavailable form of uh, supplements and minerals that you can get. What is B primarily focus on? Everyone knows vitamin B right now for hair growth, right? So we know biotin, we, we know that, which is our vitamin B9, but there's a lot of Bs. Now, typically there's eight B vitamins that we need regularly. So you're going to see those on, on our super B bottle. Um, there's more though, there's B17, there's B13. There's a lot of different B vitamins that come from different foods. Um, and mineral resources that we are not allowed to package and sell in the United States. Um, so many people go to Mexico, <laughs> if you've ever heard of friends, right, that are struggling with certain illnesses and they're hitching a bus and they're going to Mexico for a few days and they're gonna see a clinic down there and they're gonna come back up, that's why. Uh, primarily B, B17 is known, it's something that other countries use uh, to help support shrinking of cancer cells, but B17 is found in all of the seeds of fruit. That's where it comes from. So your apricot seeds, your apple seeds, things like that. Why we don't ingest those is because it can also breed cyanide. I shouldn't say can, it will. <laughs> so those seeds contain cyanide. So in lethal doses, we know what cyanide does, right? So we have to be careful with that. So do not go and eat seeds. Okay, I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Please do not be chewing on no apricot, avocado seed, okay? Just call me, we'll talk. We have other things we can, we can attack, but just don't do that. No seeds. <laughs> Buy the Super B. <laughs> so what does chelation mean? I just wanna go over that a little bit quickly. What chelation means is it forms a bond of proteins such as an amino acid. If you are fam aren't familiar with amino acids, amino acids are uh, chains of proteins. So there are many proteins that form to this mineral that kind of code it, that helps it get into the body. And then um, the body's able to use it. So, and extract what it needs from it, supplement it. So chelated form is the most bioavailable, which means there's not as many side effects. If you have also been a victim of the vitamin store, uh, take these super B stress caps um, and you know, you're going to be fine. You've also probably felt the indigestion, the cramping, <laughs> potentially, uh, side effects from that. And that's because 
most of the bees that way are too, it's just too much. If you're going into a store that way, it might be too much for your body and it doesn't know what to do. And so uh, vitamin B is a water soluble vitamin, which means it's going straight into your bloodstream. Many doctors will recommend if you need B12, you'll go in for a B12 shot. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that. The reason is because it goes directly into the bloodstream, it works faster. So keep that in mind with your vitamin B. Um, they are very, very critical vitamins. And what they do is they also help the enzymes do their jobs. So if you're deficient in vitamin B, not only do you struggle with a little bit of energy, but you may struggle with what they call an irritable bowel syndrome or some sort of issues in, in your stomach with digestion. And that's because a lot of your enzymes come from vitamin B and vitamin B helps the enzymes to do their job in uh, extracting the nutrients from food that we need and then pulling that into our bloodstream. So that's a fun fact too. Um, I do want to say uh, that one of the most important things for vitamin B is that cognitive function. Um, when you're depleted of vitamin B, the first thing you want to do is like hammer some, you know, uh, coffee all day long or green teas, or you're, you're going to your vitamin shop and you're drinking those, the Red Bulls and all of that stuff. No judgment. Let me just say that. No judgment. Been there, done that. And I'm not going to say I wouldn't do it again. I'm just saying <laughs> something to think about <laughs> as you, um, go about your day, because that's what we tend to do. We, we need something. We, our bodies know that we need it. So we're desperate to find it. When you start taking your B supplements or your, your, getting your B from proper food amounts, which is mainly your green foods, et cetera. Um, you're going to be experiencing less need of that, right? So that's kind of where you want to be. We want to have less of a need for something that's going to take us from here to here really fast. Um, you know, maybe you're in your twenties though. So this is cool by you, but I'm not like, I just need that like part of my life. So <laughs> I'm no offense to anybody in their twenties either. Just saying, sometimes we're okay with the up and down and we don't recognize that maybe it's just a little bit of a supplement that we could take that might help us stay a little bit more balanced. So um, something to consider there. Uh, now, a lot of people ask me if you're struggling with serotonin or norepinephrine produ pr production, right? Because when you hear stress, you automatically put anxiety and depression with that. So um, we do wanna make a disclaimer when we, when we talk about those hot words. In no way are we saying that a vitamin is going to um, fix that. <laughs> so, but what we do know is that if it is a chemical imbalance, vitamin B is not meant for that. It does not break the blood brain barrier and deal with those sorts of things. So something to think about when you're stressed and you're being pushed for high doses of vitamin B. Now, vitamin B is actually one of the vitamins that you can overdose on very quickly. Good news is it's not going to put you on the emergency room either, but it is going to hurt your stomach. It can cause um, a little bit of an over calcium production. You can hurt your kidneys. You can hurt your liver. Um, so something to be careful about. And throughout this and at the end, we'll talk about that the best way to know what to take is always going to be going to your doctor, getting a blood panel. So uh, my personal favorite thing is to go get my blood work done every quarter, and then I figure out what I need to do. Um, I don't really, because of my experience and where I am, I don't need to know what the doctor wants to do. I just give me my blood work, give me my results, we're good to go, let me do some research, let me figure it out. And then obviously, if it's something that I don't know or I can't figure out, then you know your doctor's always going to be your best, um, your best go-to person. But I do believe in treating the symptom, not the cause. And I do believe in knowing our bodies better than anyone else does because we care about our bodies more. Your doctor is not going to know how you feel. They are not going to hear or feel what's inside of you. They're going to look at your hormone panel and they're going to tell you that you're fine, but you know that you're 32 and you're having hot flashes. So if you're not okay, like, you know, <laughs> you know, those things, uh, they're just looking at statistics and that's what they're good for. That's what they're trained at. So in no way do we want to say, you know, forget the doctors and they don't know anything. No, they know exactly what they were trained for. We are just trained in a different way. So we know who to go to for, for the information that we need. So again, if you guys have any, any questions on vitamin B, um, 
please write that down so that we can talk a little bit more about that um, and answer those questions a little later as well. And then we are going to move a little bit into, let me just make sure on oh my notes, I didn't miss anything here. Ooh, yeah, this is kind of important. So stores can trick you a little bit because um, they sell a lot of different forms of vitamins, right? So you'll see on the back of a bottle, if you've ever gone in, for example, probably the easiest one to mess up is magnesium, right? You go into magnesium and you see like seven different forms and you're like, what in the world does that mean? My doctor said grab magnesium and there's like all these different types of magnesiums because most of them are synthetic. Um, so that's something to think about. Synthetic forms exist because there are people who cannot uh, break down the natural form. So it's a synthetic form that tricks the body for a minute and will help your body um, to feel like it's got what it needs. And then your body will run through that pretty quickly. And that does happen for some people. For most people, that is not the case, but there are specific um, dietary uh, issues or um, uh, diagnosis of certain diseases and things that need a synthetic version. So again, do your research for sure and talk to your doc doctor about what form of magnesium is going to be the best for you. Um, for example, um, Bs are the same. There's many, many different types of vitamin Bs. There's a methylcholobalm. There's, uh, you know, other, other forms of vitamin B that I can't even pronounce. I just go, and that's the vitamin B that we want to stay away from. There's in the natural community, right? If you can't pronounce it, you don't want it. So like that's, that's really kind of the problem. So just know that there is synthetic forms and your body does not know what to do with synthetic forms of anything. So what does it do? It takes it and it puts it right into our fat cells to come back and deal with later. So, uh, and, and that's another thing we'll talk about as we go along through these six months of wonderful, wonderful information that we've got to talk about, but we're going to move into our vitamin C and it's super weird, by the way, that I can't hear you guys laughing and stuff because I'm kind of like that. So it's like, I like the engagement, but I can't hear anybody. So <laughs> if I'm moving too fast, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, cool. I got some thumbs up. All right, well, we're moving to that. So we're going to talk about our vitamin C. Okay. 1400% of daily intake is vitamin C. Okay. And that is in our foods that we eat. So vitamin C is one of the most abused vitamins ever. It is the most abused supplement ever. Um, it is very necessary for cell reproduction. So it's, it's basically soft tissue reproduction, right? So you're talking ligaments, um, for example, connective tissues, immune system, uh, circulatory functions. Your body does not produce vitamin C. Your body produces vitamin A uh, and B, but your body does not produce vitamin C, which is why you have to get it from supplement or food, okay? So that's really important to know. Um, However, 400 international units or IUs is the daily recommendation for vitamin C. You can literally get that. You, let me, you get 1400% in one cup of orange juice, okay? So if you're drinking anything citrus or eating anything uh, citrus-based, uh, most likely you are getting your vitamin C. <laughs> So along with all the sugar and all that fun stuff, but I mean, come on, who doesn't love a glass of orange juice? I'm just saying. You can balance it with vodka, that'll help balance the sugar. Just saying, <laughs> but it's true, <laughs> it's true. So alcohol brings the blood sugar down and you know, sugar brings it up. So you know, there's a reason for that drink, whatever that drink is that does that. So um, it is very sad when people consume too much vitamin C because you can actually damage your body's response, uh, your immune system response, because it is so acidic that it can cause harm in your gut. It can cause harm 
uh, in your organs. It can cause a, a lot of harm in your um, your overall balance of, of your digestion and your intestines. And that's when people become allergic to a lot of things. So there's a very strong link. If you do your research into some medical journals, which is so much fun for me, I don't know, you guys probably won't like that as much as me, but there's a very strong link to vitamin C and allergies. <laughs> so a lot of our skin allergies, those of you who have ever struggled from eczema will understand this or what they call sun rashes. That's vitamin, too much vitamin C a lot of times, the little rashes that you get. So that research is super exciting and you definitely want to look into that. Now here is the tricky part. I have to make sure you all have your pens for this because nobody tells you this. So it's very important. Because vitamin C comes from food, okay? It cannot be given to us in supplement form in a natural version. So absorbic acid is the form that is most bioavailable for us. However, it is synthetic. Now, the reason you'll see absorbic, I know, right? Mind blowing, I saw some faces. Do, do, do you, I'm just saying, do the research, your mind will be like, <sighs> because absorbic acid originally it was manufactured to prevent and treat scurvy. Scurvy was a disease that was used. Mostly a lot of people who were on boats got that way back in the day, right? Transferring goods and things and bartering and shipping and things like that. That disease, uh, if you came in contact with, it was very deadly and it, and it spread very quickly. So absorbic acid was made uh, in that form and it, what, cause what it does is it repairs tissue and it helps with enzymatic production. Okay. I know it's wild, but you cannot get it in a supplement form in a natural form. You can't powder orange juice. <laughs> it's it, you just cannot do that. So, um, the reason it got labeled vitamin C was simply because people just recognized that that's what it did. That's, that's what it does. The same thing as vitamin C. So it's just wide, widely known as vitamin C. So if you were to go to a vitamin shop or a vitamin store and go to the C section, you're going to find a lot of different types of vitamin C. And you're going to be told that liquid vitamin C is better or liposomal hits the cells faster or all these different reasons, right? There are different forms because people have different bodies and what is good for the goose may not be good for the gander. So if your absorbic acid, which is what's most widely used for everyone, but you're in that small percent of people that that upsets your stomach or that causes skin allergies, then yes, you're going to want to look at something different. Young Living Super C is in the form of, of absorbic acid, but it is because that is the most bioavailable. Uh, your, new, your body needs the nutrient to form vessels, cartilage, muscles, collagen. If you do not have vitamin C, you cannot build collagen. Uh, collagen is the number two most essential part of our whole entire body, right? Without collagen, we are literally bones and like water on the floor. So it's the glue that holds everything together. That's collagen. Now, you'll notice people who are struggling maybe with um, immune system or joints, ligaments, you'll see hyaluronic acid everywhere in the beauty industry. Uh, that's because those things are actually made because you have enough vitamin C in your body, even those blood vessels. So now here's the cool thing about vitamin C is that you will literally discard whatever you don't need. It's not going to be stored in your body. It's not going to put you in the hospital. Your body will use it, your body will get rid of it. What you do risk is the overuse or tax on your kidneys or your liver because you're pushing that out quite often. But it's not going to be stuck in your fat cells or anything like that. It is water soluble, so it is going to get into your bloodstream, which is why you may notice skin issues, rashes, things like that. So there are a lot of allergies to vitamin C or absorbic acid form of vitamin C. Um, a lot of people, 
in other words, though, can't eat oranges and stuff, but they can take vitamin C. <laughs> That's because maybe they are allergic to that and that, that amount, because that one orange has so much vitamin, way more than you need, way more than you need. Uh, you don't even need to eat a whole orange, but you can supplement with, you know, absor absorbic acid. So always know kind of what that's from. Now, um, cheaply made vitamin C, if it's not absorbic acid, or if you look on a label and you see absorbic acid and you see other things on that label, if that's what you're looking at, um, you guys want to know where that comes from? This is fun. So that is GMO corn. That's where that comes from. I know so many mind blowing emojis right now. So you're going to go to this, you know, 99 cent store. No, no, not say I go 99 cent store again. No, no judgment. Um, but don't buy vitamin C there. Okay. Just don't do it. <laughs> that ain't vitamin C. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> the FDA, if you have something that is two thirds, what it is supposed to be, it is labeled, it is produced and it is done. So we have to know uh, how much we need, where we're going to get it from and why. So Young Living is 100% vitamin C absorbic acid. There's no drama, it's, it's very easy. And also, um, I don't, there's two forms of vitamin C that we have, I believe. So we do have the Super C, and, then I, and I think that's the one that we have right now. The other one is out of stock, but we have two. Let me make sure. Now, the most easiest natural way you can get it from foods are going to be cherries and oranges. So if you like cherries and you don't do well with oranges, cool. You can get so much vitamin C from cherries. Um, but if you have an issue with cherries and you can eat oranges, cool. So then you can get your vitamin C from your oranges. But those are the two most important forms. Young Living uses um, a couple things in the um, Super C. So I'm going to talk to you about what those are because you're going to look on the back and you're going to go, she just said if it had other things, like don't do it, right? So let me tell you what those other things are and why it's actually in our Super C complex. So we have, we use rutin and we use bioflavonoids. Um, this is why, because it absorbs better. It helps absorbic acid not be so acidic in the stomach. The rutin and the bioflavonoids do that. Where do, does the rutin and the bioflavonoids come from? You know, those are the things that actually color oranges or plants, for example. So your bioflavonoids is what gives your daisies the yellow color, for example. So what it does is it has like a natural protection against, um, it, you know, it keeps the flower living longer, right? The orange peels, for example, citrus peels have those bioflavonoids and rutins in them because it actually protects what's inside of it. Um, we use those so that we can um, kind of curb that acidic side of um, the vitamin C for you. So you'll notice that the stomach absorbs it pretty good and kicks it out. It's almost like eating that dried cherry or that dried orange. If you guys have ever had the super C, then you totally know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you have to try it because it's amazing. Now, I want to tell you guys a little bit more of the foods that are high in natural C. Tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli is so cool because it's man-made, but it's like the coolest thing ever. It's so high in nutrients, vitamin A, primarily vitamin C. Um, if you eat a serving of those, you guys are getting all the vitamin um, C that you need. It's exciting. Now, say though that you're having a hard time with your immune system and your doctor tells you to go get vitamin C. The reason that this is because at that time, when you're sick with a virus or a bacteria or something like that, it's literally killing your healthy cells, right? So you do need that boost of vitamin C because we, as we established that vitamin C is important for even blood vessels being made. Without enough vitamin C, you can't even make blood vessels. You can't make cells. You can't make collagen. Uh, you can't do that. So, and your skin is, you know, that's your biggest organ. So if you can't make the blood vessels and the ligaments and you can't support your skin and the oxygen levels in your body, you're going to, your immune system will come down. And that's why. So it's okay to take large quantities of vitamin C when it's necessary. 
Um, and matter of fact, you can take even up to 5,000 um, IUs of vitamin C uh, like for a week. And most doctors will tell you this. It's, it'll be very cool when you guys ask your doctors because then you'll know I'm right. But if you're really struggling, especially in the case of COVID, uh, for one week, doctors were saying, okay, one day 5,000, then you go down 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000, 500, right? And then you're going to level off a little bit. You don't want to take more than that because it doesn't work. Right. So people who take prescriptions and medicines often think that if I take more of this vitamin C, it's going to work faster, <laughs> but it won't. It actually won't work faster. You're just taxing your body a little bit and you're spending way more money than you need to uh, economically because you don't need that much vitamin C. So something to think about there. Um, but that's kind of how uh, we're fashioned, right? We just know, take more, you feel better. Take more, you feel better. But that's not the case with supplements. With supplements, you want to make sure you get the right amounts, uh, the correct forms, and a balanced flow of them. So if you eat those things, most likely you're getting what you need. And of, of course, the best way to find out is to um, talk to your doctor and get your... Um, <laughs> And then you're, uh, you're going to get your um, blood work done. So blood panels are really encouraged as far as knowing where you stand. They aren't going to look for vitamin C, though. I wonder if anyone can tell me why. That might be a quiz for a prize or something. But the reason is because we don't make it. So if they were to take a blood test for vitamin C in your body, we don't make it. So again, this is just something that's going to supplement your immune system to boost what you need for a short period of time. When COVID hit, no one could find vitamin C. So along with the toilet paper, out went the vitamin C. Because everyone thought, if I just take vitamin C in mass amounts, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm good. I'm not going to get COVID. That was not the case. <laughs> so uh, does it help support your bodies? Yes, because our bodies react and they respond to different situations. It's the two things that our bodies do, react and respond always. So that is vitamin C and a gist. Believe it or not, that's a gist. I'm doing good. I still, I have vitamin D to talk about and I haven't even been an hour, okay? Doing good. There's so much more to tell you guys, I'm just saying. Okay, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about vitamin D. This is my favorite thing ever. We have to talk about vitamin D. And uh, vitamin D with our Super D with Young Living is the most amazing vitamin D. It is the only vitamin D made like this in the world. I know. Oh, I know. That's like the jaw dropping emoji. Why don't they have one of those? By the way, like, oh. instead, it's the mind blowing, but we need a jaw dropping one. Okay. So let's talk about vitamin D. Vitamin D is fat soluble, which means it's not hitting your bloodstream like that, right? So you're going to look at, um, different foods, right? Because that's where we go to, but that's not the case. Vitamin D is the sun vitamin. That's the vitamin that our skin gets. When it gets into our skin, then it is converted into vitamin D, and then we are able to use it for what we need. You need enough vitamin D circulating through your blood, or it is impossible to absorb all the calcium your bones need. Impossible. I will say it again, impossible. If you do not have enough vitamin D circulating through your bloodstream, you cannot build or retain calcium. So for those of us who were told you hit this age and you start taking calcium like every day, because that's what you're supposed to do, and then you're breaking bones still, or you, know, you started in your 40s taking calcium until you're 70, but you're breaking bones and your bones are brittle and you can't absorb that's why it wasn't the calcium you need it's the vitamin d you needed because if you have enough vitamin d circulating through your blood then you're able to absorb calcium through the foods you eat most most important through food i can't stress enough how if you need vitamins the best source will always be food it will always be food um, supplements are amazing that we can use what we need to supplement our diets because we just don't get enough from our food. And because of our lifestyles, it's, it's just 
for some of us, it's impossible to eat enough of what we need, okay? But it is through your food. Vitamin D also influences our cell growth and our immune function. It supports keeping inflammation in check. It is huge for that. It is not a common thing to talk about vitamin D and inflammation linked, but the medical journals are super cool with all the amounts of studies that they've done as far as vitamin D supporting that inflammation. And um, it also helps support a healthy immune system as well. Because if you think about inflammation and what it does to the body, it's the number one thing that makes our body go, ah! <laughs> this is not supposed to be here. <laughs> so when it does that, we are not able to, um, you know, get balanced, find our homeostasis with that. So it's important that we keep our inflammation down. Without the proper amount, your body is going to pull the calcium it needs from your bones. Okay. So the thing about vitamin D is if you don't get it, your body is going to pull what it needs anyways, because your body makes it. We're going to talk about that in a minute because now you all are thinking, so what form is vitamin D? Vitamin D2, vitamin D, vitamin D3, what's the difference? Oh my gosh, I don't know. So we're going to talk about that in a second because you make it, you make it. It's made, it's in your skin and it synthesizes and then it goes into your bones. If you don't have it, it will pull from your bones. So, uh, and it all will also cause skeletal systems to be weak. So this is where, you know, neck and shoulders and back and degenerative disc disc diseases and things like that happen because now you're getting holes in your bones because your body's pulling from these areas it is not supposed to pull from and then you can't support yourself and then you get in this vicious cycle of I need I know I need to be healthier I know I, I need to lose weight but I can't move and I'm in so much pain and you know that it just goes around and around and around so uh, vitamin d is just it's a very simple thing now I if there's anything that you guys should run into after this it is get, make sure your vitamin D is in check. It is, it is huge, even for your gut. And, you know, we'll talk about our gut later through the series, but if you don't have enough from that, then you're not able to, if your gut is imbalanced, then you're not able to produce your happy hormones in your brain. And vitamin D three is linked to that, of course. So very important to know about your bone and muscle pain. Have you ever gone to the, the doctor or heard of someone that went to the doctor and they're like, my bones hurt. And the doctor's like, no, 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 that's your muscle. You're like, no, it's like my bone. It's my bone. Well, that's the vitamin D deficiencies that, that causes that like bone ache. Right. And then your doctor's telling you you're nuts because you know, it can't be your bone. You can't feel your bone. Oh, you can feel it. So it's something to think about. Make sure you, you take care of that. Uh, we all know what osteoporosis is. It is. It gives us the risk of fractures when our bones are kind of sucked dry from that vitamin that we need. So here's something that they never talk about too. Vitamin D is a hormone. It is a hormone. It is not really a vitamin. It's a hormone because that's what your body makes. So when it, something is taken into your skin, it hits your um, endocrine system, okay? And it is a hormone. So because it's an, uh, a hormone, it can cause an imbalance of your mood. Um, that is something really to, to think about. Because a lot of times, if you're somebody who's happy all the time and then boom, you, you, you tend to like tunnel down real fast and you don't feel like yourself and you have no idea why, um, you might consider getting your vitamin D ch uh, levels checked and vitamin D levels need to be high for anyone who has a darker skin tone. You are probably deficient. And I can say that with confidence, <laughs> you are probably deficient because your skin has a melanin that will push away the, the sun rays, right? It's like sunblock. It's like natural sunblock so that you're not able to get the vitamin D naturally from the sun. So now that brings us to our forms of vitamin D, right? So what is the most natural form of vitamin D? D3. D3 is vitamin D. That's it. So your, your D3 is your vitamin D. Um, D2 is a synthetic form. For those who are not able to absorb the sun, 
for those who are not able to absorb that natural D3, which tend to be the same people, there is a synthetic form of D, D2, that is made for you for, because of that. So that's something that you wanna think about. Um, it's an active form uh, uh, still because it's vitamin D, it's a hormone focus. So it does still, is still synthesized from plant. Uh, if you could take a plant and break it down to its chemistry, that's how they actually take these things and synthesize it, right? So it's maybe one chemical off from being something that would be natural, um, but it is able to be absorbed in the body. But if you go to the health food store or something and you look at your vitamin Ds, you're gonna see uh, all the way from 500 up to like 10,000 uh, international units of that. Well, that's because it, it really is that dramatic. You typically need at any given time, 25 to 35,000 international units of vi vitamin D in your body staying consistent um, throughout your day, which after it's used as a hormone and it's, it's pushed through your body to do what it does, it ends up being at about four to 5,000, um, which is great uh, for, for our bodies. So the best source of foods is gonna be your halibut, uh, any light tunas, anything fortified, and guess what? Along with the vitamin D that I can't wait to tell you why it's so special in just one second, our Ningxia. Ningxia is one of the greatest ways to get your vitamin D, your vitamin C, your vitamin Bs. That's why just that one two ounce shot is so important for us every day, right? So um, like, here's mine still. Well, I think this is my second serving because you know I'm stressed doing this so that I know I'm gonna have to replenish those vitamins. Just saying. So now let's talk about what makes Young Living so different. We are the only company in the whole entire world that has a lichen-based vitamin D. I'm gonna spell that for you. It's lichen, it's L-I-C-H-E-N. If you have your vitamin D or the Super D supplement, um, you can see that there. So what is the lichen? Well, it's a flower that will die from the sun. So it has, an, it has a protection in it, this flower, this plant, it actually protects itself from the sun rays. So in order to do that, it, has, it creates vitamin D in order to make sure that it doesn't absorb any from the sun because it will die. So Young Living extracts this from the lichen plant. It is the most bioavailable form. I'm going to give you some of the research that I've done, and you may know some of these uh, friends that are young living people. Actually, since our time's a little bit crazy, um, we'll just start with one. So if you've ever heard of Jen O'Sullivan, about a year ago, she had some really, 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 really bad um, blood work. She was very low in vitamin D. She had a fracture in her rib. She had gained a lot of weight. She was not feeling well. I never thought that it'd be vitamin D, but it was vitamin D. So they told her, go take 20,000 international units of vitamin D, build it back up. I'll see you in a few months, right? Well, she didn't do that. She, she came home, she started doing research, and then she started taking Young Living's vitamin D, obviously, because we trust and we know where that comes from and we know the work that they put into making sure that what we put in our bodies is the best, okay? So she only took what was recommended, okay, which is about 2,000 international units in our Super D, okay? It's about 2,000. Um, and the next quarter, her D levels were perfect and her doctor could not even believe it. So all you have to do, if, if you don't know what her page is, it's the human body and essential oils. If you search Super D, uh, her, that story will come up and she literally shows you her blood work panels. It's really cool. So um, the lichen extract is the most natural form of vitamin D for us. It's plants, it's a plant. What's really cool is animals eat that plant <laughs> to protect them from the sun. They know to do that. And then here we are years later figuring out how cool that is that we can actually do that. So um, that's really what's most most important about our, our super D and you can't find it in the world anywhere else. So very, very exciting. Share with all your customers and your family and your friends about that. And please um, consider taking it 
uh, if you are in need of that vitamin D supplement. So now if you're toxic overloaded and you are one of the people that's so excited from the supplement course, you're going to go buy it all and you're going to take it all. And then you're, you're going to feel terrible in the next 30 days. Okay. <laughs> Cause it will happen. It can happen if you do not need it. Remember what your body's going to do. It's going to stuff it in the fat cells or it's going to push it out through your kidneys and liver. So you're going to overload your body. When you overload your body, you get tired, you get stressed, you get, you deplete your B vitamins because now you're stressing out your system. So don't do that. <laughs> but um, if, if you are, or even now you notice you've been taking a ton of supplements and nothing seems to be working, stop taking anything. Okay. Just stop taking it. Go get some blood work done. And remember this every 120 days, your body's cells 100% turn over. Okay. Every 120 days. So if you are someone who's so curious and loves supplements, but you're also like, Oh, I've tried that before and it didn't work for me. It might now too. So on the other side of that, and, and, and definitely share that with your customers because you might've been overloaded, but your cells have turned over. So you can start supplementing with what you need. Um, and I would say, make sure everyone in the world has bottle of Nisha because that is the most amazing thing. Super D goes out of stock so much. You guys, even if you don't need it, I have four bottles. I don't play. This is only one of my oil shelves, right? Every room has an oil shelf. That's another story, but seriously, every room does. And I have two bottles in here. Um, and I, I just give them away if needed, cause it goes out of stock. So that's one of those things. If I see it in stock, then I'm like, okay, what can I afford? And I'm like, real quick going to my chase account, like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm going to stock up because I know I'm going to need to put that on the shelf. It's just very necessary to our body. So, um, that's our ABCs and one, two, threes, you guys, can you believe it? We did it in an hour. So hard for me because I talk so much. I'm going to unmute everybody, and then we can talk a little bit about um, about um, questions and stuff. I'm going to have to run over, so pardon me, real quick. Let's see if I can unmute everyone here. I don't know where Mac went. She was my helper. My kid ditched me, y'all. So let me see how I can do that. unmute everybody. There we go. So I'll ask you all to unmute. You can unmute yourselves. Perfect. Yay. All right, we'll run back over here. Awesome. Cool. Thank you, Penny. Hey, hey. okay, so. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. And maybe Crystal, I don't know if you're able to help me out with any of the questions there. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> no, thank you. That's so exciting. I'm so happy to be here. You guys have no idea. And what's coming next is super exciting too. We're going to talk a lot about Young Living supplements and what they do. We're going to talk about every single part of our body. So it's going to be really fun. Do you have any questions? Say, yeah. Yes, I do. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, well, hi. My, my, my name is Autumn. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like to make my, my own kombucha. And so I was wondering if I can, um, when I take my Nisha, my two ounces, can I mix that in with my kombucha without um, killing any of the beneficial bacteria? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. unfortunately. Um, the, the, and that is actually a question that I wanted to get to, um, and we're going to talk more about it over the next six months, is what do you take together, right? Because it is important. It's very important that you take your minerals separately, that you take your letter vitamins separately, that you take your gut health vitamins separately, your omegas and things that support your brain separately. Um, and also a little bit more on that too, is because there are a lot of supplements that uh, actually thin your blood. So that's something to consider. So when you do kombucha and you mix that with, there's a, there's a lot, there's omegas in our, our Ningxia as well. Uh, okay. but you're going to kill that. You're going to kill some of those really fragile things. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. I'm glad that's I a, asked. Yeah, but that's, that's perfect, right? Because it is a good question. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, my pleasure. Do we have any other? Is it safe to use 100% vitamin A on the skin? I saw that question. Anybody there? Who asked the vitamin A question? Go ahead and unmute yourselves, no problem. Are you guys able to unmute Hi. yourself? Hi. Hi, I asked. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Jess? No. Who is Christina. Who is that? Well, hi, Christina. Hi, nice so to meet you. So 100% vitamin A, retinol. Um, that's a big, I am not an esthetician. So that might be a question a little bit more for our Abby Murray. Um, okay. If, she, if she's there. But here is what I do know about that. So remember, we talked a lot about vitamin A and different forms of vitamins, right? So uh -huh. that is one that is produced in different forms. So vitamin A for your face is a different synthetic form of vitamin A, uh, just so you know, um, but it mainly deals with dead skin cells. Um, you would not want to take a vitamin A liquid capsule, break it open and put it on your face. I can definitely safely tell you that uh, okay. for sure. Um, but I'm not an esthetician to be able to tell you for your face, um, personally for your face. Only thing I can say is if it hurts, don't do it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have another question. looks like Emily. Is Emily there? Yeah. Hi, thanks. Hi, yeah, Emily. Right Hi. So I just ordered this and on the bottom says how often to take it but it doesn't say to take it like on an empty stomach or with food do you know by chance and, and please forgive me what was it that you ordered you cut out on me oh sorry endogize oh the endogize so um anything like that you don't have to take with food because that's hormone based so that's just going to be absorbed really quickly into your body Okay. Yeah. I've been waiting to start it. Um, okay. Thank you so yeah, much. Endogize is awesome. You're going to love it. You're going to have to let me know how it goes for you. I'm super excited about it. Also, yeah, I was fair. wondering if you could talk a little bit more about the vitamin B um, helping with stomach health. Uh, vitamin B actually can um, help with stomach health for sure um, because it's it focus, so vitamin B is full of enzymes and it actually helps the natural enzymes that you make in your stomach work and do what they're supposed to do. Um, vitamin B primarily come, it can come from meat, but it also comes from so many grains. Uh, you, it, the grains are full of enzymes, probiotics and vitamin Bs, right? So if you were to look at our multi-greens, you're gonna see a lot of different vitamins, but a lot of different vitamin Bs in there. Um, so that's how it works enzymes we create in our stomach and we create three um, that primarily focus on our fats, our carbohydrates, and our proteins. So if you've ever had food baby, right, like you eat and then you feel like you're five months pregnant, um, <laughs> most likely you need the enzymes and probiotics to break down that food so that your body can extract what it needs and push it out to your body to do what it does. Um, if it sits there too long, that's when you start getting irritable bowel syndrome because now you're getting acidic food. Uh, your food will literally turn rancid in your stomach. Mm. So now it becomes toxic and poisonous. So then your body goes on a different high alert. Let's move this out real fast is what it says, right? So we're, and if it can't at the time, it's going to stuff it into your fat cells. And if you've ever heard, or if you know anyone who's ever been diagnosed with the inflammation disorders, where it hurts to touch the body, a lot of that is because of what is actually in the fat cells itself. Um, and we know we have extra fat cells, right? Because um, we have cellulite and stuff. And so, well, I do, I don't know about you girls, but sometimes I'll go through my cellulite phases. So um, that's how, so yes, the bees have natural enzymes and probiotics in them that help with your gut health. Great. And then um, Super B, you would recommend for that? Super B is awesome, but no, I would not recommend Super B for if you have gut issues. Stay tuned because we're going to talk about that in June. 
Awesome. Um, there's a lot of information for gut health. Gut's basically your second brain. There's a lot of information for that. Um, but we're going to focus it primarily around the supplements that Young Living has to support. Uh, and we do have everything to support um, balanced gut. I mean, everything. Um, but your vitamin Bs are going to most likely, the super B is going to help you replenish the vitamin B that your body is using because of your stress or your, or your environment or your immune system being low. Um, that's primarily why you would take vitamin B. If you are like one of the people at one or two or three that can't stay up, right? You hit that lull in the middle of the day and you want to nap or you want to die or you just want to go to bed because I've been there, right? So you're like, okay, I need coffee at two or 3 p.m. You are most likely exhausted and you have no vitamin B. So that is the type, that is the person that I would suggest to start on vitamin Bs. Um, does that help? Yeah, yeah. And I'll definitely stay tuned for next month when you talk more about it. Well, you're gonna love it. It's, it's really yeah. cool. Thank you so much. No, you're welcome. Now it looks like we have Leah. Hi, Leah. And you know what? If you guys want to help me, Hi. I don't know who raised their hand, their hand first. So please forgive me. Hi, Leah. Hi. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to check out uh, what you had said. I think you had said about vitamin C um, that like even if you drink a little bit of juice or like what, um, so like eating a tangerine or something, that's like all you would need in a day or something. Yeah. So 400 international units is daily recommended. And so then you if, would, mm -hmm, so if you, you don't need to. <laughs> well, everybody's body's different. So for you personally, you'll want to find out for sure. Um, but a handful of, of, of anything carrying vitamin C, oranges, cherries, something like that, or broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, a handful, a serving of that is, is that your basic vitamin C that you need period throughout the day. Where you're going to need extra is if you are really struggling with your immune system and um, you need to balance it out just a little bit. Cause remember if you're overstressed and you're, then your immune system gets to a point where it cannot function properly, you do need your vitamin C. Um, and in, in a little bit higher quantities because your body's going to focus on the, the sickness, the bacteria, the virus, and then your adrenal system, your, your, um, endocrine system, your brain, um, they are going to be depleted of what they need. So if you ever wonder why you're really, really sick, and then it takes you like forever to rebound, that's why. So when you do start to get sick, you can take a little bit extra vitamin C. Okay. Thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. You guys can always send me messages to a little more in detail, maybe about what you're going through that, you know, you don't want to share <laughs> with everyone. <laughs> And then we have someone else I see. Liz, hi Liz. Hey Penny. Hey. I was, um, I was really excited when I saw that Super D came out at the convention last year. Yeah. But then when I saw the quantity of what it is, and I know they're converting, I use milligrams here in the but US. Vitamin. So I've always right. been a youth person. Oh, when like vitamin A, vitamin B. Right. I, think I love that. Someone that's talking, if you don't mind muting yourself for me. Okay, so sorry, Liz, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so going into fair skin versus olive dark skin and the absorption, right? Mm -hmm. I was disappointed when I saw how low the IUs were in mm -hmm. our day. And then with the skin, I thought, man, I have to take like four of these yeah. to remotely just kind of level out. And in the winter yeah. time, I'm going to yes. take a whole bottle. Yeah. And I have not watched Jen's video. So my question to you is, because it is from this lichen plant, or mm -hmm. lichen, whichever mm -hmm. word we pronounce it, what do you think for us olive-skinned or Latin, Hispanic, or Black? That so I am married to a Hispanic man, and I have Black kids. How cool is this? So let's talk, okay? <laughs> let's talk I'm about all, ears. all the skin tones. I'm all ears. <laughs> I'll mute right now. <laughs> so in terms of vitamin D, um, 
if you know your level, that's the most important thing, because if you are really, 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 really down, you can take high doses of vitamin D. Just because it's winter time does not mean that you will not get vitamin D. Matter of fact, more people get vitamin D in the fall, spring, and in the winter. Why, why that is, is because we kill our skin, right? Our free radicals when we're in the sun too much in the summer. So anytime your skin turns red, anytime your skin starts peeling, anytime it is not absorbing vitamin D. It's just not. The sunscreen, the sunblocks, things like that, we're not absorbing vitamin D. So something to think about. You're actually getting better vitamin D when you're in the spring or the fall or even sometimes in the winter, like where we are out in California. It didn't get cold last year at all. Oh, I'm so excited. But so I was out in the sun a lot. I was outside and it's, it's sunny in the winter here. So um, I did not have to supplement a lot with vitamin D this year, which I was really excited. But the darker the skin tone, and this is for more of those who are more of the red to purpley skin tones, those are the ones that should probably supplement all the time with vitamin D. And of course, you want to talk to your doctor about that and get your levels. Um, the olivey skin tones, the beige skin tones, uh, porcelain skin tones, um, it's, you absorb it so easy. It's, it's, and so fast. And, and that's, that's legit. Like that's where, where you don't really need to supplement as much. Um, lichen, the reason why you won't need as much of super D as you would if you go to the doctor and they give you 62,000 milligrams, because Honestly, that's what they'll give you. If it's vitamin, if you're vitamin deficient and you tell them, well, I'm taking vitamin D3, they're going to give you vitamin D2. Even if you haven't taken D3, but you're super deficient. Now what's deficient? Okay. With vitamin D, anything under 30 is considered scary deficient. So they're going to give you upwards of 50,000 milligrams of, you know, vitamin D. Vitamin D2 is what they're going to want you to take. So that's where Jen O'Sullivan was. That's where I've been. So I can tell you my personal experience is the same. So, and my kids, my girls, especially girls, I don't know why it's, it's more prevalent in females with darker skin. It's probably because of the, syn the synthesis and the hormones that happen with us. So that's probably why. Well, um, Every time they start to feel a little bit down or they get that seasonal depression, a lot of people call it SADS or something like that is when the vitamin D starts to drop for them. Um, in California, it's funny because their seasonal depression starts on like February and March for whatever reason. So <laughs> that's when we go and get the blood work and figure out what we need to, to supplement. So it just kind of depends on that. But the lichen extract is very, very strong. Um, and it's from a plant so it's absorbed the chemistry of that plant is so similar to our bodies that it's absorbed quickly and it boosts the levels really fast without the the side effects in most people in most people <laughs> but yeah the lichen extract is like it's amazing it's amazing but that's what we do we we extract things from plants yeah do you have another question liz do you think what do you think Oh, wait, so, I know you. I saw this like yeah. hmm. no, I learned how to handle these little things that we pop up. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, okay. so basically you're saying olive, um, fair skin, and just beige skin. We're kind of like in that Caucasian range and we do absorb so 2000. I don't know what the IUs it's 2, are. 2000 milligrams or IUs, yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Be sufficient because of it being a plant. But it's most likely that that 2000 works like that 60,000 international units because of the form it's in. And that's, that's the thing with supplements. It's got to be that bioavailable form. So you can take less of a bioavailable in terms of milligrams or international units, as opposed to something synthetic, you have to take more because that is going to shock your body. So it's going to get your body's attention. So your body goes, whoa, what is that? What is that that she just did? Let's go to it and figure it out, right? So it's going to direct its attention to that and start breaking it down. Um, that's the way your, your body thinks when it comes into contact with something high like that. And then you were talking about how we take them, we level out, and we kind of stay in that happy hormone the state. The happy zone. Mm -hmm. 
So when winter, because I'm in the Pacific Northwest, Central Oregon, okay. we've got nine months of cold weather. I'm in boots and scarves nine months out of the year. Okay, so this yep. is my high season right now. Yep. So I'm all bundled up. Yeah, there, there is no sun touching my body, even though we have over 350 days of sun here where I live. Yeah, but also, yeah, being inside and bundled up. Yep. Yeah. So the, the absorption of this lichen is going to be supposed to be sufficient then. It is supposed to be stronger than any other type that you would take, okay. but you'll have to try it and see what happens. Yeah. I will. So, do Boy, I can't wait to hear yeah, um, and in case, because I know that we've got so many people, especially the younger ones don't know this, and I am, you know, first, no, not all, I'm all of skin, but, you know, Hispanic. Um, when I moved up here, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. the ID levels. And they've said that this Pacific Northwest area is number one in the nation for cancers. Yep. So come to find out, I was very, very extremely low vitamin D and of course depression and all yeah. that comes with it. The body aches and pains, fibromyalgia. So yeah. when she says, go check your D's, especially as it starts to get into the fall season, you find yourself feeling pretty sad. Yep. And that more than likely is what is going on in your body and it's going through those changes. But Absolutely. Yeah. When you get to the point where it's affecting you mentally, you are very, very low in vitamin D most of the symptoms you won't notice. Um, you really won't. But when you start to, when it starts to affect your brain, because it's a hormone, it's, it's a mood stabilizer, um, then that, then it's very low, most likely very low. Yeah. You got Thank it. You. I appreciate all the information. Thank you, Liz. And it looks yeah. like we have Tracy. Hi. I really enjoyed Hi. this Hi, so Ms. far. Tracy. Thank you. Hi. You are super Hi. cute. Okay. Um, oh. I didn't have, I had like one question and then listening to everybody else, I got some more. Uh, <laughs> I, if we could, if we could double back to one earlier where you talked about inflammation in your fat cells sure. and how your body just hurts. I've dealt with um, fibromyalgia for 26 years. So I'm looking for any supplements or whatever it might be that could help with that because that's not fun when you don't want to be touched. So we are going to talk about um, inflammation, dis not disorders, but the inflammation that's uh, in the body. We're going to touch on it more in June, but then in July, we're really going to dig into it. But here is what the best information I can give you right now. What you want to research is your adrenal system. So it is no coincidence that it is us type A personalities or the people that do everything themselves and take care of everyone else and, and take care of ourselves later. It is no coincidence that we are the ones that struggle with autoimmune diseases. So I would say definitely start researching the adrenal system a little bit, and then we'll touch a little bit more on that as we go through over the next six months. It is a very trick, tricky topic to discuss. Okay, so we don't wanna talk about the word disease, but we do wanna talk about the effects of illnesses. So yes, that, that achy body feeling, we can talk about the adrenal system not working properly and those kind of things. Why the adrenal system is linked uh, to certain uh, inflammation disorders, um, that we're definitely gonna dig into. but. I would say probably as far as supplements, your vitamin Bs are very necessary. So totally uh, that. that's a great place to start. Yeah, for okay. sure. Yep. Okay. I know um, right after I joined uh, Young Living, I went ahead and I started taking Cortistop for the two months like they recommended and I saw nothing. So I'm sure I'm probably just that bad that it wasn't able to help me you right have, off the bat. You have thyroid issues? Not that I know of, but my doctor is a conventional doctor. So, okay. Yeah. I would definitely maybe get that checked too. Um, your adrenal system and your thyroid system can be at war on any given day. Um, they trigger each other. So it's like having the two kids in your house that are like really the best friends until they're not. 
and then you know they're like killing each other and you're like what just happened you were drawing cats and rainbows and now you're like stabbing each other like that's really how it goes <laughs> your your uh, thyroid system and your adrenal system those are pivotal pivotal for those sorts of feelings and symptoms uh, they cause so much havoc in the body if they are not balanced. Okay. And, and we'll touch more on that too, a little bit later. And if you do have questions, we do on our team, uh, Jessica Grasso, she knows a lot about the thyroid, um, to help a little bit. And then of course, please message me, um, adrenal disorders and stuff is my jam. So that's, that's, that's where it all started for me 20 plus years ago trying to change my lifestyle. So, okay. I did I have one. Back. Thank you. Sure. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Um, <laughs> I did have a question regarding your vitamin A. Did dry skin come from too much vitamin A or too little vitamin A? Dry skin can come from too much. Too much. Okay. That's what I thought. And then I wasn't sure. So I wanted to double check that. Matter of fact, I think it was Emily or someone that brought out, please forgive me if it wasn't Emily that brought out, can you use vitamin A on the skin? If you use too much vitamin A on the skin, it will peel your face. And that's why <laughs> that's what it does to the skin. So it's very delicate that vitamin A or the retinol that you use in that form of vitamin A. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Um, yeah. Does ashwagandha help at all with the adrenal fatigue or not so much? Ashwagandha is the most amazing herb in Ayurvedic medicine ever. Um, ever. Cause, Cause I take that with my D3. So I wasn't so, sure if that was a good combination. Were you taking ashwagandha when you tried the cordyceps? Um, I was not regular with it. Aha. Uh -huh. So that could be why cordyceps didn't work as well for you. Also, um, so I pair, I do cordyceps in the morning, first thing. And I also do thyramin in the evening. I don't have any thyroid disorders. Thyramin's amazing because it's just there. Like all these supplements are just there to support your body's reaction to imbalances. That's it. Or it's response. That's what the supplements do. Right. So I take it to help support my bodies because even if you don't have a thyroid disorder or any sort of thyroid problem that shows up on your blood work does not mean that throughout the month, you do not have the, the flexing of that. So, um, it's important to make sure you take enough of your minerals and, you know, sea greens and stuff that's in the thyramin. It's just amazing. But those two go uh, hand in hand. Now, ashwagandha is tricky because of the milligrams. You have to start low and you have to go build. It builds in your body. That's an herb that literally builds in your body um, and helps with your adrenal glands primarily. For those of you that don't know what ashwagandha is, it's an Ayurvedic herb and it, uh, primarily what it does is it's like the herbal Xanax. So, and don't go buy it because it's herbal Xanax because <laughs> it can really just like Xanax. It can really mess with you if it, if your body does not agree with it. So do your research on it. Um, it is called ashwagandha. So it's A S H W A. G H A N D A for anyone who wants to look up that um, Ayurveda curve. It's wonderful. Um, and then start low and go high like anything. You start low and you build because then you're going to test your body's tolerance. And the other thing is don't start a bunch of stuff at one time. You won't know what works and you won't know what's not working or what's causing issues. So just one thing at a time. So when you do the ashwagandha, do you, you do that with the quarter stop or do you do that with the thyramin or somewhere in the middle? So I don't have to take ashwagandha anymore. Ha -ha. What I do is if I'm going to, um, if I'm going to go into a difficult scenario in my life and I know it's going to be stressful, then I will start building ashwagandha up in my body a little bit. And no, I would not take it with either uh, quarter stop or thyramin. The reason is because that hits your system in about 30 minutes. So it can help balance your body's adrenal response to stress. So kind of like if you guys have ever been in stress and you can't, like for me, I hold my breath. I hold my breath. And then I don't really know what's happening or why I don't feel good, but I'm like not breathing. So, you know, that's what happens. Or you're like panicked. Um, 
and your heart starts to be really, 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 really fast. And so now you're paralyzed, right? Because that's what happens then. That is your adrenal system broken. So ashwagandha, what it does is when that stress hits, when the brain sends that signal to the adrenal glands, it says, oh my gosh, run, fight or flight, get ready to fight or get ready to run. The ashwagandha herb that's built in your body, it, it, it helps your body respond from the impact of that and take away the panicky part. It doesn't mean that your body's not feeling that stress, but it does help. Um, but that herb does help with the impact. So you're less likely to panic or hold your breath, et cetera. So it's a very cool herb. Um, you want to start somewhere around 400 milligrams and build up and, and you definitely do not want to go higher than 800 or 900 with that herb. Because if you do, it's like taking, when you take herbs, they get stuck in your intestines, they get stuck in your body sometimes in over amounts. Those are things your body's not gonna stuff in its fat cells, right? Cause it's literally, literally not gonna take the herb and stuff it in there, but it's gonna sit in weird places in your body and it's gonna cause a lot of other issues. So until it breaks down. And by the time it breaks down, it's gonna be a rancid herb. So it's gonna be toxic to you. So something to consider. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Hello, is that Bell? Who is that? I can't see. Is that Velma? Yes, yes. Hi, it is. gorgeous. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> um, you're doing awesome. Uh, everything's great. It's so much information. Um, I just have That's one question um, on the vitamin D. Um, do we need to supplement it with uh, the K2? I've heard that we need to do both together. Uh, is that necessary or not? Because I know in the, in the, um, and the Young Living one, it, I don't think it has it. Nope. So here's the thing. I don't know if you personally need to supplement it with K2, but here's why people supplement K with vitamin D, because their calcium levels are so deficient. You need vitamin K in order for the D to even be absorbed in the bones. Imagine a bone that's so brittle, right? And then you're so deficient that the blood vessels and the ligaments around the bone are not there. And so you give this huge push of vitamin D to your bones and it has nowhere to go because there's no, there's nothing, literally nothing to absorb it. So what vitamin K does is it surrounds the vitamin D, right? Sticks to the bone and slowly allows vitamin D to then uh, slowly break down and become absorbable. So then the body recognizes it that way. So that's why vitamin K is important that way. If you're very deficient and you need the bone health. Yeah. All right, let's see, I see any more hands. No more I hands? I just wanna say. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. This has been incredible. Um, all of your information that you have shared with us I feel like my mind is so blown. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and this is just the basics. <laughs> I'm so excited for the next couple um, courses, okay. like the workshops we have set up for the next over the next, what, five more months. Yeah. We're so, excited, you guys. We want to we wanna really focus on educating everyone so that we can have an awesome Black Friday. We're taking care of so many customers and we're teaching them and teaching our teams how to help support them and really build our businesses with more than the essential oils because there are other essential oil companies but there are not obviously we know no essential oil company is as amazing as young living but this is a health and wellness company this is not just essential oils so it's it's really beautiful to be a part of yeah thank you guys for having me oh my goodness i'm so i'm just like super scared but i mean i, I like ballard up like you would not believe so thank you. <laughs> thank yay you I will Thank record you. too. Um, bear with me. I did record it to the cloud. I learned that that's the most efficient way to send it. So I figured that one out, I hope. Now, if I can figure out how to send it, I will send it to the leaders and we can trickle it down. However, you guys want to do that to share. Okay. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you guys next month. And I 
have my team that's going to support a little bit. So it won't just be me talking the whole entire time. But my team's going to hop on and help out a bit. So uh, we'll split it up a little over the next few months. I love you guys to pieces. Nice to meet all of you that I haven't Thank met you. yet. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, Penny. Thank you. Bye. Bye.